Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Hope you guys are doing good and hope your tanks are doing good as well. I'm uh, I'm just here for my two month check-in <laughs> since my last video. <laughs> Just wanted to say hi and let you guys know I'm doing okay and uh, just been working. Business has been busy as ever and uh, I couldn't be more grateful just because, you know, when the whole pandemic started, I was really scared as I think a lot of people were. Um, I was scared about, um, you know, I wasn't gonna get any business. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the aquarium hobbyist community, we're a strong bunch of people. We're a faithful group of people. We're a loving, caring group of people. Well, some of us, some of us. <laughs> but for the most part, you guys are amazing. And uh, I can't thank you enough for, uh, you know, keeping, you know, my business and as well as other aquarium businesses afloat because without us, It'd be a little bit more difficult for you guys to buy plants on the internet. <laughs> so thank you for keeping us alive, you know. Uh, but yeah, everything's going great. The pond's over there. As you can see, I'm sitting in my, my skeleton greenhouse. Uh, this greenhouse I've been working on for months. <laughs> and I keep saying, oh, it's going to be done soon. It's going to be done soon, you know. But uh, I just, I'm busy, you know. I work for a living. <laughs> I need to like, I need to hire a contractor or something, somebody to do it for me. But anyway, so um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about this uh, new greenhouse of mine that I'm hoping to finish soon, uh, really quick. Uh, so, you know, this greenhouse was originally a carport. Uh, this is this is what people use to like park their cars or they use it as like a party tent, you know, something like that. But when I saw it on the internet, I was like, wow, that would actually make a really nice greenhouse. And I think I could make some modifications to it to um, to turn it into a greenhouse. So that's what I did. I, I put bolts and stuff through all the, the connections because unfortunately it wasn't built that way um, originally. So I had to put bolts and stuff to connect everything. Yes, I know the bolts are very long for what I needed. I have a habit of doing that when I go to the hardware store, I, I buy the wrong size every single time that that's just that's just me that's how i do things that that measure twice cut once type of thing that doesn't exist in my brain my brain's not smart enough for that i guess i don't know <laughs> but anyway, so i connected all the joints with bolts and uh, i also attached pieces of wood to the uh the the, the main structure and i attached them using these uh, hose clamps and they're actually very sturdy they don't move they're very strong I did that because I didn't want to drill more holes through the uh, pipe than I than I uh, needed to. Just because when you do that, you know the pipe starts to rust because you exposed, uh, you know, the inside of the pipe, and the inside of the steel pipe is not uh, powder coated, so it's not protected against rust, I guess. So I wanted to minimize rust over time, obviously, because you know it wouldn't this thing wouldn't last forever if it just well, it's not gonna last forever, but it wouldn't last a long time if it just rusted to the ground. So, <laughs> so I did that. Attached pieces of wood. So actually all of the uh, walls and um, the, uh, the outside uh, of the roof structure as well. And I'm gonna do the, uh, uh, I'm gonna put a piece of wood on the, uh, on the middle portions as well. And that's what I will be using to attach the plastic, uh, the nursery greenhouse plastic, whatever you wanna call it, to this new greenhouse. And also you may have noticed I, I attached these cattle panels to the side of the greenhouse. I have to actually cut this portion off and uh, cut a dedicated piece for this section right here just because it's uh, it's not the same length as the uh, pre-cut version. But I attach these cattle panels to the walls because it gets extremely windy out here. And what I noticed after, you know, building, I think three of these damn things, <laughs> I can't believe I built, you know, that many greenhouses. You think you just build it once and that's it. But nope, the wind has destroyed, uh, so far, all the greenhouses that I've built, um, except, you know, the frame, the, the frame that I've built on all my greenhouses seem to hold up very, very well. 
it's just the plastic that no matter how I attach it, it gets blown off. So I'm, I'm being more creative this time. I'm, I did a lot more research and I, I decided that it was best to kind of have some type of structure behind the plastic uh, that, that's uh, on the walls versus nothing at all. Because when there's nothing at all, it's just a gap and that leaves, you know, the wind plenty of, uh, plenty of opportunities to just blow it right off, you know? But when there's something in the way, it, the, the wind has a harder time tearing apart the plastic. And uh, as far as the roof goes, the roof is at an angle to where the wind just goes right over it. It doesn't really blow against it. So these cattle panels will really help uh, keep the, uh, the, the, the structure, uh, well, the wall of the greenhouse structure and the plastic intact. And uh, they're very, very heavy. Uh, they're made out of uh, steel. So uh, it'll keep the greenhouse weighted down as well. But not only am I relying on that, I'm, re I'm relying on uh, stakes. I'm going to be putting stakes in the ground on each on each uh, pole, you know, for the walls to, um, uh, and then attach those poles to those stakes to keep the uh, greenhouse anchored down as well. Um, last time it got really windy out here, wind gusts were approaching 65 to 70 miles an hour. It was insane. And I did not expect that. I don't think a lot of us out here expected that. I mean, people that live in this area, you know, we know it gets windy, but 65, 70 miles an hour, like approaching a category hurricane winds, <laughs> we didn't expect that. <laughs> and by the way, we weren't have we were like it, we there wasn't a storm, there wasn't anything. It was just the Santa Ana winds they call it. You know, it's crazy, ridiculous. So this new greenhouse should uh, hold up, it should hold up much better. And uh, you may notice the pond is outside of the greenhouse, and uh, that pond I'm gonna keep there as like an auxiliary pond to you know use it for plants I want to grow out or whatever but I'm going to be building a smaller newer pond inside the greenhouse as well to house even more plants and then I I also have plenty of space to do other stuff the thing is is that I'm, I'm quite limited out here uh just because this area is it's just a piece of land you know it's not it's not it doesn't have water power connection so it's it's very difficult to do a lot of things out here but I'm trying my best with you know what's available to me but yeah everything's going great with the greenhouse besides how long it's taking for me to finish it <laughs> and everything's going great with the pond and the plants and everything so everything's just going great uh, here at jacob's aquarium so just wanted to say hi give you guys a quick update of what's going on out here thanks again to all my amazing customers i love you guys very much and thank you for helping me stay afloat during this crazy time and uh, i hope you know now that we're in 2020 we got the vaccine um, and maybe, you know, the virus is making its way out of here. We can finally get back to normal because I think that's all we want is just some normalcy, you know, for for once after after a year of well, more than a year of this crap. So <laughs> I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All my social media links will be in the description below. And if you'd like to buy plants from me, my website is jacobsaquarium.com where I have almost a hundred different species of aquatic plants to choose from, all grown in Super Pond, my big, beautiful pond, <laughs> big, beautiful BBP, my BBP. <laughs> I know you guys will like them. Uh, so check out jacobsaquarium.com if you'd like to buy plants from me. Uh, from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching everybody. I love you guys very much. Have fun with your tanks and I'll see you next time.